So I'm at the lumber yard and I'm going to pick up some rebar here. This stuff is a little on the heavy side. So this pile here is what I'm after. I figure I better get some cut here before it gets really hot in the day again today. So this is what I'm going to use to cut it with. Big long handle on it. Works good, but it's a lot of work. So this is the first of my loops that I'm putting in here. And uh, so you can see, see the concrete has kind of an irregular surface along the sides. And I'm kind of banking on that to help that new concrete kind of bind to that uh, old concrete. Because old and new concrete doesn't really want to stick together very well. You could put like kind of like coatings and stuff maybe on the, on the old stuff to help it stick. But I'm uh, kind of banking on the irregular surface here, you know, where the concrete kind of gets in underneath. So this is what I'm doing over here. So like I said, this is the first of my loops that I've put in. And you see how I've separated them in the wall? So I'm going to keep doing that. I'll, the next loop that I put in, you know, I'll put one here and then I'll come back. When I've got it all tied on, then I'll put the other end over here. And then I always keep them separate. So this way, there's always an in and there's always an out. And I don't have them mixed up. So when I put the manifolds to it, then uh, the flow is proper. And I'm not sure how many of these uh, heating line circuits I'm going to get into the concrete, but that's about how far apart I'm putting them. And I'm just going to keep going and going and going and see how many, uh, how many circuits I end up with here. So earlier in the video, I was, I was cutting off those short pieces of rebar, and this is where I'm using them. I'm just joining the original rebar back together. So I kind of put it back together like a puzzle and then and then uh, tying them up together. And this rebar it actually turned out pretty clean. That jackhammer sh did a good job at shaking that concrete off of there. So I figured, well, why not reuse it, right? And so this is the this is the loop that goes to the bedroom that I've shown you guys probably in the other video where we did more of a kind of like a partial removal of the concrete in this one. So this is one loop here. And uh, earlier in, the, in this video, I was starting off in this corner here. That was the first of my loops that I put in. So now there's four here. And here, I'm running this bedroom loop together with one of the loops for the main hallway. And I'm doing that because I'm trying to keep more heat in this bedroom loop till it's finally ready to head off into the room where it's uh, supposed to be dumping its heat. So I'm trying to keep the temperature up a little higher in that one. See how that works out. So ended up with eight loops all together. And uh, shimmed up the uh, rebar in some spots just to get it a little bit off the styrofoam. And this is a part of the basement here. See, we never really finished it out all the way. So it ended up with quite a bit of area here where we could pull the concrete out of it. So I didn't do the entire basement, but I did enough of it that I think it should make a significant difference for putting some heat in here. This is, this is one loop all its own here, this one that goes back and forth. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll head back in the laundry room here. So I wasn't trying to keep track of how many uh, loops I was putting in. I just put them in and I spaced them out to what I thought would be fairly efficient. And I ended up with eight. And then it turns out that uh, I could pick up an eight port manifold for a nice clean installation. So uh, eight, eight half inch ports along the bottom and a three quarter port on the end. So then uh, I've got eight ins and eight outs. And then the ones, I've got one here for the bedroom so this is a different one, we know where to find it. And uh, we're going to put a lot of heat into that 
concrete floor in, a, in the basement here, we hope, and uh, we're thinking that one bedroom might get a little warm, so we can we can tone that one down a bit if we want to. So yeah, I wanted to get this set up before we pour the concrete, because uh, otherwise it could be hard to manipulate those the, the PEX lines into place into the manifold nicely if you got it all cemented in first. So that's why I put this all together first, then we put in the concrete. So I got to make sure that I got my, my PEX lines low enough. I need to run start running some boards over some possible problem areas. Like run a board across here and just make sure I got my PEX lines low enough. Look for any uh, areas where that PEX line might be a little on the high side. So anyways guys, that's the update on the floor heat installation. Thanks for checking this out.